In this video I'm going to show you how to create some advent theme bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer which is available for Windows um, and uh, the website is called bingocardprinter.com uh, I'm using the full registered version of the Bingo Card Printer software but there is a free trial version that you can download which has a few less features than what's shown in the video uh, but it will give you an idea of what the program can do. Okay, this is the initial screen of the software I now click Create New Bingo Card Project uh, and I'm ready to start creating my bingo cards. Um, I could choose any of these uh, templates or a blank one and put my own word list in it. If I actually look under holidays, there is in fact a Christmas template which has got a range of Christmas words under, on it. But uh, I'm going to um, go to a blank one and put in my own Christmas words because I'm going to stick to a religious theme of Advent. So I'm going to um, select blank, double click on it, and now I'm ready to start typing in my uh, list of words here. So we'll start off by doing Advent, uh, perhaps Angel, Christmas, Nativity, Bethlehem. I'll begin my type again, Nazareth, Christ. Keeper who refused access to the uh, inn, so they went to a stable, and uh, Jesus was born in a manger. Uh, and then, of course, there was a star that led the three wise men, known as the uh, Magi or Magi, <coughs> to Bethlehem. Pardon me. Uh, of course, the names, the traditional names of the Magi, are Balthazar. Melchior, um, uh, they brought gifts, and the gifts were gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and perhaps uh, that's just a couple of other ones, joy, peace, oh, and I've forgotten shepherds. So that, that, that will do for my list of Advent words. They're, at the moment they're in the list order that I type them in. I can actually arrange them if I like into um, alphabetical order if I want. Um, and uh, I can also um, uh, delete any mistakes um, and there's uh, facilities for adding lots of words in one go and all sorts of things like that but I'll say I'm happy with my word list and as you can see I've created a bingo card with um, the words uh, laid out on it the sample bingo cards are in the same order as on this screen but in the real bingo cards they will be printed in different order on every bingo card I can also change the size of the bingo card, so I can write 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, which is of course what I started with, or a larger one like 6x6 six six or 7x7. Seven seven. I haven't actually entered enough words to fill out these larger ones, so we'll stick to 5x5. Five five. Um, I can choose whether or not to have a heading on the bingo card. Uh, I can choose um, the, change the text of it if I wanted to. I could change that to a different word instead of bingo. Choose whether or not to have the special free space square in the bingo card or not. Um, I'll leave it on. Um, I can also change the fonts and colours. I can have uh, one font for the heading, different font for the normal squares, different font for the free space square. I can also have different colours for the different regions. So let's just do colours, uh, since that's rather obvious what's going on. Let's change the background heading. Heading background for of green. We'll make the free space. Um, let's make it a nice pink colour. Uh, and uh, let's use a checkerboard of colour for the, the main board. We yellow and white. That'll do. And if I'm happy with that, I could make further changes, but we'll say I'm happy with that. That's my bingo card colours. Uh, and I'm now ready to print. Okay, the options for controlling printing here are on the right-hand side. First option is um, whether to print a call list. Call list is basically this list of items in random order. Uh, uh, and you can use that if you're the bingo caller. It saves having to pull items out of a hat or draw items. Uh, but if you don't want it, you can just turn it off. I'll leave it on so you can see what the call list looks like. Second option here is how many bingo cards to print per page. I can put more than one bingo card on each page, um, which uh, allows me to save paper. Although if I'm giving bingo cards to each player, uh, I might have to um, cut the paper up. Uh, and of course, each individual bingo card will be smaller. So we'll leave that on one for now, so you can see nice and big what every bingo card looks like. And finally, how many bingo cards do I actually need? 
I can put in any number here between 1 and 9,999. So let's put in 50 as an example. And I'm now ready to print. I'll in fact do print preview so you can see on the screen what the bingo class look like. Um, first of all, there's a call list. There you can see the words are in random order. I click next page. I've got my first um, bingo card. Go, oops, let's do that again. Pre preview. Shouldn't have pressed close there. I meant to press um, zoom out. Next page. Um, there's my uh, advent bingo card. If I zoom out, you will see it fits on the page um, with the words arranged randomly. And if I click next page, you can see the next one is different, and the next one is different. So every bingo card has a different combination of words. Uh, uh, that's basically it. That's how you create bingo cards uh, with your own customized words, in this case, admin bingo cards. Um, there is one last feature that I think I will mention before I um, uh, close the video. Uh, there's an option here called uh, Call Game, which you can use, and the software can help you draw items out if you're the bingo caller, one at a time, and it will do a different list every time. So, if you were calling out, you could say Melky or Belfazar and so on. Um, you can also save the settings and come back to them and edit them later, and lots of other things as well. Um, so, if you go to the website bingocardprinter.com, you can download a free trial version of the program, try it out, try the hundreds of different bingo activity templates that come with it. Uh, or you can create your own bingo activities. So that's it, bingocardprinter.com. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.